Well, activity in Indonesia's manufacturing sector slowed in November, but still remained expansive, marking the 15th month in a row of expansion. S&P Global's latest data showed that in November, Indonesia's manufacturing purchasing managers index came in at an expansive level of 50.3, but marked a slowdown from PMI in October of 51.8. A level above 50 shows that Indonesia's manufacturing sector is still expansive. In a written statement, Indonesia's Minister of Industry Agus Gumiwang Kartasasmita said that the expansive PMI shows that companies in the industrial sector remain optimistic even amid uncertainties, slowdowns and challenges in the global economy. And meanwhile, in comparison, other ASEAN countries saw a contraction in manufacturing act activity. Now, Vietnam saw its PMI drop to a level of contraction of 47.4 from the previously expansive 50.6. And Malaysia's PMI remained at a level of contraction of 48.7 in November, only a slight improvement from 47.9 in October. Well, amid increasing market uncertainties, including uncertainties caused by the COVID-19 situation in China, the price of a number of key Indonesian commodity exports have fallen. Now, the Indonesian Ministry of Trade announced that the reference price for crude palm oil, or CPO, has dropped by 0.27% for the period between the 1st to the 15th of December. That means that the CPO reference price fell by $2.26 to $826.58 per metric ton from the previous price of $824.32 per metric ton in November. Now, the Indonesian Ministry of Trade said that the price, of, price drop of CPO was due to three main factors, namely an increase in COVID-19 cases, which is sparking market uncertainty. The second factor is the weakening of the rupiah against the dollar, and the third is a rise in soy oil prices following Thanksgiving celebrations in the United States. Now, another key Indonesian commodity export, coal, also saw its reference price drop by over 8.6% for the month of December, down to $281.48 per ton from the previous reference price of $308.20 per ton. According to the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Resources, the drop in reference price for coal was caused by India's plan to reduce their coal power plant's capacity and also due to a drop in demand from China amid their zero COVID policy. All this has caused an overall global demand for coal to fall. Other factors such as weather and supply chain issues have also influenced the drop in Indonesia's coal reference price.